you have on the one hand this system that's pushing you towards wanting to get the draw, and on the other one, the other system that is not able to break in the strong urges to take them. And that's why the analogy of pushing on the accelerator without brakes is a very good one. When opioids bind to specialized receptors in parts of the brain, they trigger the same processes that reward you with natural feelings of pleasure from activities like eating and socializing, but they deliver that much more intensely. They make a chemical messenger called dopamine surge into certain brain circuits. That encourages more drug use. Eventually, these surges can happen when you just encounter people or places or things associated with opioids. That can produce craving. Other brain circuits adapt to opioids, but that means that without the drug, you feel jittery and anxious. That can contribute to withdrawal. Repeated use of opioids changes still other brain circuits, making you more sensitive to stress and negative emotions when the drug wears off. So you take drugs not so much to get high as to escape feeling low. When opioids hamper your self-control, it's harder to stop using them, even when they don't give pleasure anymore. Here's another way to look at the addicted brain. It's like driving with bad steering. Your steering wheel does not work properly. So not only you are actually accelerating with intense desire and motivation to get the drug, you are not able to self-regulate and say, if I take the drug, I'll end up in jail. But you don't have the capacity to steer yourself to another behavior that could help you overcome that intense desire for the drug.